So how do you like Australia so far? Oh, I love it actually. Yeah. Uh, we've been here for almost two weeks. Uh, just got to Sydney actually uh, two days ago. But yeah, I been... saw you were in Newcastle last night. Yeah, that, go? that was great actually. It was, uh, it was actually one of the smaller shows out of all of the shows we've done, but the crowd was amazing. Yeah, that's great. So what's been your like, favorite city so far? Uh, well, I haven't really gotten to experience Sydney, as I said, I just got here like two or three days ago. Uh, we've been to Perth, we've been to Adelaide, we've been to Melbourne, and Newcastle last night. I'd have to say, uh, if I had to pick one, that's kind of hard. That's kind of hard. <laughs> You're from Adelaide? Yeah. <laughs> well, Adelaide, actually, there were people waiting for me at the airport. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that, I think, on yeah. Twitter, and I was like, yeah, go Adelaide. Yeah, so <laughs> it might be Adelaide, it might be. Oh, yeah, I think so. Um, so the show's been going well? Yeah. Going great every show. That's great. Um, so, um, have, do you think you've been received well in Australia? Oh, uh, definitely. Um, you know, especially it being my first time and me not really knowing what to expect or knowing what my uh, presence is here, uh, it's just very reassuring that music just goes so many different places because, you know, uh, people are actually singing the songs and actually showing me a lot of love, so it's a great film. That's great. Um, so have there been any Australian artists that you've been here that have like caught your attention? Well actually the Pop Bellies are the only Australian artists I know and uh, they're on tour with us uh, and they're doing a great job. Like I actually uh, went out and watched their show the other night and they did their thing like uh, they, they got like this one record that we all sing back backstage. Like, Hello <laughs> We sing it like we play around all uh, backstage singing it and uh, so I love them. Okay. Um, so, have you been hitting the clubs since you've been here? Uh, no, actually, not too much. Uh, we we did not here in Sydney, but we went to the club in uh, Melbourne and uh, in, in where else did we go? In Adelaide. Where did you go in Adelaide? I don't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the clubs aren't not great in Adelaide. No, we actually have fun. Oh, uh, that's good. Um, so, have you liked much touring with Usher? Like, oh, well, I've actually been touring with Usher now. Uh, we toured together last year in America for about two months and you know one thing that remains constant is that he knows uh, what it is that his fans want from him and I think that is, uh, is vital to any performer, you know. Uh, our performance styles are two very different styles but I think that's what I've taken away Why from. Why is it different? Because we're two different artists. But what, what is the biggest difference between you as a performance? I mean, one, he's a dancer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a big difference. That's a big difference, yeah. Um, so, uh, backtracking. What, what happened with uh, Prince and your side of the bat? Because, like, the song's very similar to Purple Rain. I saw you performed it on the BET Awards. And well, how did that sort of come? Was that, like, an homage to, like, Purple Rain? or? Oh, well, there's actually an interpretation of it. You know, if you listen to the record, you can hear clearly that it you know sounds very similar and uh you know I just uh, my producer Troy Taylor actually produced the record and uh you know the opportunity to, to sing before him at the BET Awards was was, was there and it's an uh, obvious you know like I said interpretation of the record so we yeah. take that opportunity and I, I actually spoke with Prince about it at the uh on The View actually in America I met him and uh he liked it. Oh, that's good. Um, so, um, you're a military brat? Somewhat, yeah. I, 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 my stepfather, uh, my mother's ex-husband, was actually in the military for a while. And, mm -hmm. uh, from the age of 7 to 14, I, I went to a different school every year. Alright, so, because you have reference it in like uh, the video for your side of it. So mm -hmm. do you like do shows for the military and like perform for Yeah, them? actually we have done uh, a lot of things for the military, especially uh, around uh, to my tour last year, my own tour, Passion, Pain, and Pleasure. We went to a lot of the uh, uh, the military bases and did autograph signs as well as shows and things of that nature. And, you know, uh, the Yo Side of Bed video was actually just a tribute to our troops and what they do for us, and, and sometimes it goes unnoticed, and I wanted to show that I do notice. It's <laughs> a great video. Um, so, uh, Mr. Serial Girl, did you give yourself that name, or is it yeah, like a reputation thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a reputation, <laughs> like. <laughs> that, well, kind of sort of. You, know, you never know. We end up. With <laughs> um, <laughs> So you always say the song's a baby maker. Do you know if you've actually been responsible for any any pregnancies? Uh, actually, I have. I've been told that a, a, <laughs> a, a number of times. Actually, uh, 
That's a funny thing. <laughs> you know, it always creeps me out that know people are making babies to my music. You just say it so much yeah. though, like I nearly every song. <laughs> what, really? Yeah. God, I must listen to that song a lot. Um, so, you've collaborated with some amazing people like Drake, Nicki Minaj, Gucci Mane, Plies, like... Do you have any, like, good new collaborations coming up? Uh, any new collaborations? Actually, uh, Diddy and Dirty Money. Oh, sick. I got, uh, their next single we actually just shot a video for, Your Love. Uh, yeah, that's a great album. Thank you. Uh, well, I didn't make that album. <laughs> <laughs> that's just gonna say right You're on it, though. <laughs> Uh, I have a song with Lloyd about to come out as well, and I'm on Lupe's album with the song. Oh yeah, I just did a review for his album. That was actually, I think, the best track on the album. Oh, thanks. Yeah, because I don't know, the rest of it's kind of... Anyway, not for mine. <laughs> um, so, my favourite hook from last year was Beat It Up, like Gucci Mane. That really? was amazing. Like, how did that happen? Well, that's how we actually recorded that record the same day we did uh, a record from my album before last, Ready. Uh, entitled what LOL Sunny Face? Yeah, yeah, we did the same. We did that the same day, wow. and uh, you know, it actually came out around the same time, and then it resurfaced. So you know, it was kind of in the power of the people. I guess they liked it too. Yeah, I love <laughs> actually, that. we did that whole song probably in like twenty minutes. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Um, so. Those guys, what are those guys like to work with, like Pies and... Uh, it's, it's amazing to work with, with so many different artists, you know, uh, whether it be Flash, Gucci Mane, Nicki, Drake, uh, even on to Diddy or Lupe, whoever, you know, it's all about, you know, that, that, that energy that we both bring, you know, bringing kind of two worlds together to make one, and uh, as far as collaborations are concerned, I, I love to do it. Yeah. Um, so... So is there any difference between like the way rappers work and the way like R and B people yourself work in the studio? Well, I think there's a, a big difference uh, depending on the, the artist. Uh, not really uh, what it is they do, whether it's rap, rap, whatever it is. I think it's all based on the artist and how they prepare for uh, their sessions and how they make music. I actually uh, have a very Hip hop background, as far as my influences are concerned, and you know how I even got started in the game. Uh, so I, I think it's more so about the, the artists and what they go do for self preparation. Mm -hmm. So, um, who are your biggest influences? Like uh, Jay Z, for instance, is one of my biggest influences. R. Kelly, uh, Marvin Gaye, I listen to a lot of Biggie, I listen to a lot of Ti, uh, Like, and that's just to give you because I said the hip hop. In the last question, but Donny Hathaway, Al Green, uh, Prince, Michael, you know, so many, so many people. Yeah, well, I was just gonna ask about R. Kelly because you've worked with him. Yeah, he, he's amazing. I think he's still the king of R&B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Um, because I was talking with my friend about how R. Kelly, there should be a film about him because you know I'm so sick of films like you know about Biggie and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And R. Kelly, I think he would make a great movie. I was saying like the only person that could play him would probably be you. Cause I like couldn't really imagine you <laughs> when I was doing it. So how did you feel about that? Uh, I had to talk to him about it. <laughs> Would you ever consider acting? Uh, definitely. Uh, it's something I see in my near future, just taking my time as far as steps towards it. Yeah. So what's next for you? Uh, well, last year uh, I said I wanted to solidify myself as an international touring act, and I've been able to do that this year, you know, uh, in a lot of places. We're going over to uh, do a UK tour, um, well actually a European tour. Have you been there before? Yes, I have. Uh, but we're going to do my own tour. I just actually left with Neo. And um, we did about five days together. And, you know, that's very much a, a mission of mine. And to go in and make me more music and uh, prepare myself for another album as well. Great. <laughs> um, thanks for talking to Thank us. Thank you Trace so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the first one. <laughs>